Welcome back to ARK. Um, on Ragnarok at the moment, and what I thought I would do is do a video on using folders to save the base stats of a dino. So, what we've done is... Thank you. Is we've uh, tamed this Rex. It's a level 150, so it's coming out as a 223. Um, we'll just go in and let's just put his saddle on, just to start with. And then what we'll do is we'll go through the... Um, right. So his base stats. So the ones that really matter are health, stamina and damage. The others, I don't think makes too much difference. So, um, saving the base stats is relevant when you breed him. Because... When you breed, they only take the base stats, not when you've put more points in them. So if you've leveled them up, let's say your health on this dino, you've got it up to 12,000 for example. When it breeds, it will not breed at 12,000. It will breed at the base stat. Okay, so it's very relevant that you save these base stats. Because if you had two level 150 dinos for example, one adds a base stat of, as you can see here, 8360 for the health. The other one had 9000 for the health. But all the rest of them were exactly the same. You want to be breeding that one to get the higher health. I'll do another video on how we do that. I'm doing some um, Allosauruses at the moment. And I'll, I'll, I'll go through that example um, in a bit. So what I do is, go onto the inventory screen and use the top ones. And you'll see you've got a new folder. So I select it and I just literally put in that, which identifies that it's got 8360 for health. That Tyrannodon's just come down again. Stamina is 1932. And finally damage is 306. Okay. And then the last one I put in, I always put four in. I want to know what base level this one was when I tamed it. Okay, so now I know that those are the base stats. So, I think what we'll do is we'll maybe have a wander back to the base. <clears throat> Go and have a look at um, some of the other rexes. And then we'll, um, we'll compare, and then I can just show you really what I'm on about. Um, I could do some food anyway. Is that a raptor? Or is that a... Uh, it is a raptor. Let's go kill this raptor. Because this rex needs some meat. Come on, Mr. Raptor. Let's have you. Right, so, let's get back to the box. Pass the uh, Giga Trap. Get there, I've made this water. Right, we'll get this Rex all the way back, and then we can uh, show you what I'm on about. I still haven't found another Giga to turn. I've been looking for people, but I've not been able to find them for a little while now. So a bit disappointing, so I've only got one. And um, it's quite a low level one. Um, I did find one once over by the Wyvern Trench. I think that was a level 140 female, if I remember rightly. Um, didn't manage to tame it. Get them killed, um, and that was before I've got a good trap set up, which I've got one over there now. Now I've got no idea where that good has gone, um, so I've not been able to uh, to go back and try and track it. So never mind. Right, almost at the base then. So what we'll do is we'll pop this one in the base, 
and then I'll try and show you what I mean and why I think it's a good idea having little folders like that for base stats. So what I'll do is I'll show you on the other sources actually. That might be the better way of doing it. Only because I've been breeding them and um, trying to increase their base stats. Okay, so it's a bit of a mess because I've just been messing about with it. Why are you stood like that? Right, so here we go. So at the moment, I have got, these are the two that I'm breeding at the moment. I've got a, a level 224 male that was originally a level 150. And his base stats are 52924 health, 1025 for stamina. That doesn't seem right. Why is it 9864 then? It's female. That's more like it. I think I've uh, written it down wrong. Because I don't think I've up to uh, level of the resort. Why is his health so high? I don't know why his health is so high, that's a bit weird. But here's a typical example. Ignore the health. Okay? So. Let's just look at stamina and damage. So over here, stamina of this one is 1025 and damage is 308. On this one, same damage but 1325 stamina. So what I want to do is breed these two together so I can get a diamond that's going to have these base stats. But I want a male, and then I can bring them together. So, the example I've got, okay? These are the original two that we started off with. So, here's the base stats. So, again, damage and stamina are quite good, but health is only 4662. This one, damage and stamina are the same, but health is 4788. So, I've bred them two together. I believe I got this one. As you can see, it was health is 5292. So then I bred that one and that one, and I came out with this one. So I need to get the health up. So that's why they're breathing there. So if we go back to... Oh, in fact, I've got another Rex here. I've got another Rex here. Let's just check this Rex out. So this Rex is a level 135, came out as 7040-1806-243. This one, as you can see, higher stats. So this is why I use folders to um, just note the base stats down of everything. Because that way it's just far easier just to establish that if you've got a dino that's say very very high in stamina and damage, let's just have a look at these two, what are we do with these two? I didn't note down the level of this one. So damage looks to be good. In fact, this is a level 150 actually, isn't it? This is a female level 150. Ah, this will give you an example then. Let's get this female out of here. What I want to do is get the female out next to the male. And then hopefully, in fact, we won't get the female out, we'll leave her there. 
So this one was a level 150. So let's have a look. 6, 8, 20, 17, 64, 314. 6, 8, 20, 17, 64, 314. 6, 8, 20, 17, 64, 314. So 6, 8, 20, 17, 64, 314. So as you can see, that female has got better damage, but this male has got far better health and stamina. So what we'd want to do is we'd want to breed them two together so we can have the male's health and stamina and the female's damage. So that's why, like I said, that's why I put these folders on. I think it's very useful. I hope that's um, useful to you. So if it is, brilliant. If not, apologies. So uh, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you again soon.